Okay, folks, I've got this test stand all set up on 14S. We're going to do a uh, full run up here. I'm going to run it up for a minute, maybe a minute and a half, and uh, we're going to check a couple of things. Number one, I want to know the temperature that the, the inside of the motor gets up to, as well as the outside. And uh, we'll also get an idea of the amount of thrust we can get out of a 590 motor, 590 kV motor, on a stock Dynamax fan uh, using 14S. Uh, the ESC I'm using is from Hobby King. Uh, it is the I, f I forget the name of it. It's uh, it's a pretty good ESC for the price that I paid. Uh, it's the 14S ESC. If you look on there, it's really the only one. Um, so as you can see, I've got my scale set up as well for the thrust. Uh, that should give us a pretty good idea of where we are. I have a heat sink on the motor. This is not the one I prefer to use because it doesn't cover uh, much of the uh, the can the motor can but it's all I have right now. I've sold uh, the remainder uh, already and I'm waiting for some uh, more to arrive in the mail which I should have shortly. So uh, I'll go ahead and get the camera set up and uh, we'll do a quick run up um, on 14S. <laughs> Okay, that was a little over a minute. That was like a minute and 20 seconds. So let's go ahead and see what temperature we get on the uh, windings and the motor can. Okay, so there we have it. We had a maximum of, it's hard to see here, but we're looking at 17.90 pounds of thrust, so almost 18 pounds of thrust on 14S uh, with the 590 kV motor. If you're real curious to see what kind of uh, current draw this thing experienced. The temperature, um, the highest I saw there with the temperature gun on the windings was 160 degrees. I think that's uh, still within, within limits and uh, I think while it's running it's actually staying cooler but once you shut it off it starts to uh, uh, retain some of that heat so um, well that's it I guess we'll uh, we'll have to wait and see what kind of current this thing pulled but there's a uh, decent test right there to at least gauge the performance